My name is Ron Gormley and I build puppets. I grew up watching reruns of The Muppet Show on DVD. When I was about seven or eight, my uncle who lives in England was able to find old episodes of Sesame Street. My overall goal would be to one day be the puppeteer on Sesame Street and get to work with all the great puppeteers who work there. I didn't realise when I was about ten that it was an actual job. So then I thought, well, I kind of like acting, but puppetry, I kind of like that more than acting. And it's a form of acting, so I thought that would be the best job for me. To start, I generally will make a foam a head patterned, and then I'll cover that with a nylon or a fuzzle fleece or a fur if it's one of these characters. I'll attach things like arms and then it's on to the features. Sometimes I can build them quite quickly, like there was one I made recently which took me four days, but some of them take a bit longer, like this guy took about three weeks. So far I have about maybe nine or ten. So for this character, I based her off, there's a show in England that was made about 10 years ago called Little Britain, and David Wallens played this lady, who was an old lady with a great big wig, and she'd always vomit, and that's what I based that character off. It's a bit like this, dear, you know, she talks a bit like this, the line's not working, <laughs> that sort of thing. Generally, I'll try and find a voice for that character and then the personality will sort of evolve over time. I'm a big fan of doing silent films where like there's no talking and sort of like uh, Mr. Bean, that sort of thing. I made the story about a tourist who finds a monk in a castle and they sort of create a friendship together. I wasn't expecting to win, like that came as a huge shock, but I'm, I'm very happy that I did. I think it was really amazing, you know, being contacted by Warwick on the pipe because He's a massive hero of mine. It's amazing that people like that would notice stuff I do. He um, sent me a video of one of his characters, you know, saying to keep doing what you're doing and we need you in the publishing business. If you told me about three years ago that that sort of stuff was going to happen, I wouldn't have believed it. Like, I still can't believe some of that stuff was happening.